We're off the cruise ship now, so that portion of our trip is done. And so we just picked up our rental car and are gonna head towards Orlando. We're gonna make a few little stops along the way to try a few little sweet shops. Uh, there's the driver. Yay. <laughs> All right, so first stop is, oh my gosh, a Brigadero. So we're still in Miami and we're now at, oh my gosh, Brigadero. If you don't know what a Brigadero is, it's kind of like a truffle. It's made of chocolate and sweetened condensed milk. I've never actually had one, but I've been wanting to try one. So we're going to go in and get a couple to try. Here's what we got, a four pack of Brigadero. So we got the traditional, nope, traditional, sorry, stop. <laughs> so traditional's at the bottom there. Above it is the OMG. Looks like it has like the little crisp pearls on top. Um, a sprinkle and an Oreo or cookies and cream. Um, I believe these three are all milk chocolate and this one is white chocolate with Oreo. So we're gonna try our first Brigadero. Should start with traditional, I think. They're like super soft. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to be firm, but it's softer than I thought. Ooh. So, it's softer than a truffle, because, it, well, it doesn't have a shell like a truffle, so kind of. They're really rich though. Mm, it's good. Here, try it. You'll like it. You love chocolate. You think? Oh. Very smooth. It's very smooth and soft. For sure. It's almost like a smooth peanut butter. Yeah, yeah I would, I, actually, I would think it's kind of like a. It would remind me of a Nutella kind of texture, but not obviously the Nutella flavor because it's not hazelnut. Mm -hmm. This is the OMG, which I think should be pretty much the same. No, go ahead. Which should be pretty much the same as the original. 
It has the extra, like, I'm going to take one off and see. I think they're just the crisp pearls. Yeah. So they're just the milk chocolate crisp pearls. So here's what it looks like outside of the thing. Yeah. It's about the size of a golf ball. Maybe a little bit smaller. No, it's smaller than a golf ball. Where are you golfing? Somewhere where I can hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, maybe at mini putt. Oh, shoot. Like, look how much it just... <laughs> This is something you need to eat right away or refrigerate, for sure. Especially in Miami, mm -hmm. <laughs> where it's warm. That's nice where you get the texture of the little crispy pearls. I don't know what all this means, but I go like this. <laughs> Baby shark, 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 shark. Copy, right, strike, strike, strike. What do you think? I like the texture of the crispy with that. I do too. You do too? Do you it's, want more now or save them for later? Save them for later as I need them to Because we're stopping at a cookie place next, so. <laughs> Are we going to stop eating sometime soon? All in the name of research. Yeah. Okay. We'll show you our next stop. We just went to crumble cookies and we got a four pack of their cookies brad's gonna come down and i'll tell you what they what they are all right camera time camera time we're good to go so we have a four pack of crumbles cookies they're served warm um so they have one flavor that stays every single day and that is their milk chocolate chip so we have that one here and then they have five other co cookies that rotate on a weekly basis so every week they'll have five new flavors we have a lemon glaze here. Mm -hmm. This is the pink velvet with cream cheese. And this is the Nutella mudslide, mm -hmm. or chocolate mudslide. And it's basically filled with Nutella and hazelnuts and chocolate. So let's start, hmm. I'm gonna cut into the pink velvet because it's all these are served warm and this has icing on it, which it's gonna just melt everywhere if we don't try a bit. There's no way we're eating all these cookies now though. I'm just going to cut little pieces. They have the cutest little cookie cutters in there that you can use, uh, you can buy and it basically will cut the cookies right into four but they just sell them. They don't have them there to cut them for you. That would have been good but whatever. Right. And the manager was super nice. The the staff in there were all of them really were good. Really nice, yeah. Yeah, they were asking lots of questions, and we were asking lots of questions, and they were all answering our questions. So oh, this is gonna be messy. Sorry. That's why I got napkins. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that thing. Oh. Oh. Man overboard. Uh, that's that's fine. still there. Yeah, because it had some crumble on top. Here we go. Pink velvet with cream cheese. Is it cream cheesy? It look. is. I'm just trying to figure out the cake pit. I mean, the cookie pit. The cake pit? <laughs> well, when I think, because pink velvet, so I'm thinking red velvet. It's not cake, it's cookie. Well, I like how it's crunchy, because I'm always afraid with big cookies like this that they're going to be, like, raw in the middle, which they probably are once I get to the middle middles, but I like the flavor. It, it kind of reminds me of a sugar cookie, which I love sugar cookies, so... Let's just try it. Let's just go for it. Cream cheese is nice. <laughs> She's got her mouth full and she can't talk. Mm -hmm. So that's usually a good thing. Rude. No, I meant the fact the cookie yeah. was good. You weren't spitting it out. No, no, it, it's, it's really good, actually. I'm glad we got it. It kind of reminds me of a sugar cookie. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything like red velvet like about it other than the cream cheese. But um, it's not red, it's pink velvet. I know, it's the same thing though. 
really just tastes like a sugar cookie to me with cream cheese icing on top. Which, to me, that's great because I, I love sugar cookies. So, um, so you're going to try a bite of this or you want me to just keep going? With I think you should keep going and then I'll nibble as we go because I think it would just be awkward trying to pass the camera okay. back and forth. All right, so that was number one, the number pink one. velvet. Moving on to number two, which is the... Lemon glazed. Lemon glazed. If you haven't noticed, TJ is a big lemon. I love lemon. I love fruity stuff. Oh, yeah, see? It seems doughier in the middle of this one. Oh, a nice punch of lemon. You see your face light up with the lemon. It's like, oh, exactly. every time, every time I get a piece of lemon, my eyes go big. It's not overpowering by any means, but it's um, so it's just like a, a soft, chewy cookie mm -hmm. with kind of a hint of lemon. But then there's the lemon glaze on top too to kick it up a little bit. To push that lemon overboard. Yeah, I can taste more lemon now that I got more of the glaze. So the middle is more like soft and gooey, and then you get the crunchiness on the outside. So yeah, they're really good. I've read really good things about them, which is one of the reasons I wanted to come try them. All right, onto the chocolate chip. So this is the one they have every day. This one stays. No, I don't want to do this. I just want a little. Just trying to get a little piece of each one. I don't want to eat a ton. We did just get off a cruise ship after all. No. <laughs> all right, yeah, see, this is what I find, especially with chocolate chip. They're always super doughy and... Uh, but isn't that the point? It depends how you like your cookies. I prefer... You like your cookies overbaked. Let's just call, let's just say it that way. Most I like most them a little crispy. <laughs> people, most people in the like I do them like doughy. them soft and chewy, but I don't like, like when it's still kind of dough in the middle. You're doughy. You're doughy. You're a dodo head. Yeah, you can see the milk. Oh, look at the big chocolate. Melted chunk. chocolate. Mm. I didn't get any chocolate in that first bite. Oh, I'm gonna, I can't wait to have that one. Yum, mm. yum. Yeah, so it's a, your traditional brown butter, um, brown sugar based cookie with milk chocolate chunks, but nice and melty. Yummy, yummy. Uh oh. Tummy, tummy. Oh, crummy, crummy all over the. Making a mess in the rental car. Uh oh. I guess I should be cutting, cutting pieces for you while I do it. No, that's fine. Fine, because I'm going to drive soon. That's going to make a mess. I, I think we should it. wait for that. Do you think? That one looks like it's just going to be caramel sauce everywhere. You mean Nutella? Or Nutella. Nutella. Oh, it looks like. like I'm not a big Nutella person, so. I'm not going to eat that right now. Let's save that for a little bit later. Because we still have to drive for about three and a half hours. And With Nutella all over in front of us, yeah. So Probably not a good just idea. Just know, crumble is delicious, and you should give them a try. Cheers. <laughs>